Grace and peace, my dear brothers and sisters, and welcome to this week's reflection. This Sunday's first reading is from Isaiah 35, verses 4 to 7. And in that reading, we hear about uh, God, our Savior, and God, our healer. It says, Say to the faint-hearted, Be strong, do not be afraid. Here is your God. He is coming to save you. Then the eyes of the blind will be opened and the ears of the deaf unsealed. And this is exactly what we, what we see happening in the life of Jesus in today's Gospel, in Mark chapter 7, verses 31 to 37. And in that uh, passage, we see that the people bring to Jesus a man who is born deaf and has a speech impediment and is not able to speak clearly. Now, what is interesting in this passage is when the people bring this man to Jesus, Jesus does not immediately heal this man, but first takes the man away from the crowd to a lonely place. And there we see that Jesus puts his hand into the man's ear and his spittle on his tongue, and the man is cured. For us, perhaps this is a reminder that, uh, first of all, that God is our tr is the true healer, uh, is our true savior, the only one who can truly heal us of our ills and pains, uh, and especially our uh, earthly suffering, uh, and especially our spiritual suffering. He's the one who can heal the uh, lukewarmness of our souls, uh, the deafness of our ears from His Word, and the the uh, impediment in our tongues to speak his word. He is the only one who can heal us from that. But in order to get that healing, we have to go to him in solitude, away from the crowd. And that's where we will find him uh, healing us and truly giving us his instruction. So let's take this week as a reminder to spend time with the Lord in solitude and in loneliness uh, so that we may receive is healing. Praise God.